Portugal. And the project that we would like to show to you today, a project, an European project called Let's Take Care of the Planet. Uh, the, the project, maybe you can next slide. Yeah. The project is coordinated at the European level by a French association called Mont Pluriel, uh, that is located in Grenoble. And then each country has um, a local ONGD or school or association who manages the project at national level. But the European coordination is, by, is done by Mont Pluriel. So here in Aspia, we work with uh, many, many schools uh, uh, with this project, and I will, we will explain you how it's the methodology. Just for you to know about the small next slide, <laughs> I have about the history of the of the project. It, is, it started in uh, 2010 in an international youth conference that uh, takes place in, in Brasilia, in Brazil, uh, where many countries uh, participated uh, in the conference and show the, the project. And when this conference finished, uh, this association, Mont Pluriel, wanted to, you know, to don't, don't finish with the project. And she started the, the process in Europe in, uh, in the next year. And um, until now, uh, this was the third conference, but there was the first one who was in Brussels in 2012, and the third was in 2015. Both of them were in Brussels and were organized by Mont Pluriel. But uh, they wanted to, to show the, the management of the organization of this conference also with other partners. And that's why they asked us uh, to ask us to organize this third conference. Next slide, please. Just for you to know a bit how uh, how it works, the project. The idea is that the, the students um, must um, have to, to find an, environment, an environmental local issue, and they, they have to organize an action to solve that problem. So the objective of the project is you know, to, to gather the scientific knowledge on the, the on local and global issues. Also, to strengthen the youngster action capacities, uh, we would like to, to empower the youngsters through, through this project. And also, how the, this public institution works, because with this project, um, one of the most important points is that we want to, 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 like, to create meeting and debate between the youngsters and the, and the public institutions, both local, national, and European level. Next slide. I don't know if it was finished. Here, ah, great. Uh, this year, uh, there was ten countries that participate on the project. But two years ago, there was fifteen. There were more. There was more, more countries. Um, well, as you can see, Lithuania, Romania, Turkey, Georgia, Italy, Denmark, Belgium, France, Spain, and Portugal. But there was also years that um, I think, if I don't make mistakes, also uh, Germany participated or Greece or Sweden. I mean, if you want to do the project, you can also do it. Next slide. Um, the project, uh, when the students develop the project at, at local level, they, they should link the project and action with one of the global, sustainable global goals. This year we choose the, the goals that are with a circle. I mean, if the students want to join uh, for another one, they can. But the idea is that we wanted to give priority to these ones about water and climate action, uh, responsible consumption and good health and well-being, and also clean energy. So the idea is that when they, they define the, the local problem, they should like link with one of the Global goals and try to also to achieve the the goals of this uh, the objective. Next, maybe with the next slide will be easier to understand the, the project. So I don't know if you can see it properly on the on the on the slide, but this is like um it's like the steps of the of the project. The first step is that the the schools must make the investigation on the um, on the issues. And make some research, some interviews, and like explore the the problem. 
then they will show the their project in different levels. First at local level, in their schools, or maybe they can contact any council and make any presentation uh, in their local council. Next step is a regional or national conference, and then the European conference. The, the, the point is that not in all of the countries um, they follow all of the steps. Because, uh, for example, in Spain, they have a lot of schools that join the project, and they have a, a strong network that follows all of the steps and methodology of the project. But, for example, in Portugal, we are just five schools in all the country, in, and also in other countries have been having the same. And that's why in some countries we don't, um, we don't make the national conferences. In fact, the European conference is not every year, it's every two or three years, depending on the financing, etc. And um, that's, that, that's why the schools have like a lot of time to make the, the local conference and then next year national and then uh, the, the European conference. About the methodological print and, and then the dissemination, of course. Uh, about the methodological principles, um, I mean, the, um, it's very important to, to follow this, this principle because if not, it's one like normal or regular environmental project. The three, the three principles are young people electing young people. What does it mean? Because as the, the process is that um, many conferences are organized, the participants that participate in the next levels of the conference are elected by their colleagues. So for example, if a school organizes um, a conference at local level, then they, they should make um, a voting, like an election, to select the person who will represent the whole group in the next step, in the national conference or, in this case, in the European conference. The next methodological principle is young people educating young people. The idea with this project is that uh, like the people who are involved on the, um, in the management I mean, of the project, is, they must be young. That's why um, sometimes uh, when we work with the schools or when we develop workshops regarding to the, um, to the project, we try to find young people also, people between 18 to 30 years who work with the youngsters. I didn't say it before, but the ages of these youngsters are between um, 15 to 16. So, and then the, the people who work with them must be between 18 to uh, 30 years old, more or less. In fact, uh, during the conference, um, there was a, a group of, of youngsters who, who, between 18 to 30 years old, who worked on the, on the management of the conference, facilitating the activities, etc. And this also is regarding with one generation learning from another. Has uh, many people who has participated on the on the project as a, as a student, then uh, maybe in the next year can support their schools uh, on the development of the of the project. I will explain the next uh, slide and it will be maybe easier to understand this principle. Next. Uh, slide. Okay. Well, um, if, if you want to join this this network, um, okay. If you have, uh, if you would like to to, to join this this network, uh, the best idea is to to first, first of all check this blog, take care of the planet, or through the Mont uh, website. You can also uh, ask them to tell you which is the, the, your country contact of the network. For example, if you are a school from Portugal, you should contact ASPIA to work on the project. But maybe if you work, uh, if you are a teacher in Spain, you should uh, contact SRA. Or But Montpellier will tell you um, which is the, the contact. This was like the deadlines of the work at national level to participate in the European conference. This year was kind of Okay, can you hear me? Because one person wrote that could not hear me. Now? 
Can you hear me? Ah, okay, perfect. I will speak louder. Sorry. So oh, this was uh, the deadlines from uh, for this year for the participants to participate in the European conference. So until December, the students will have like the, the project and uh, the action that they want to develop. And in January, they they sent a, a short article and abstract about the project. And then um, one of the points of this project is that the, the, the schools that participate in the project could, um, can uh, work with other schools from other countries in a project called Twin School. So if you want also to, to work with the, the other uh, schools, uh, you should contact the Mont Pluriel and they will con uh, put in contact with um, other schools that maybe participate uh, or are working on the same project, etc. Next day slide. Okay, this was the, um, the poster of the third European conference. It's, it's right in there were 10 countries that participate. Uh, and many local partners were involved on the organization of the of the event. Uh, there are three uh, three Profiles, I mean, of uh, participants from the conference. One are the delegates, that are the students. Second one are the teachers, and then the organization and facilitator. The role of the facilitator is regarding to the one of the methodological principles that the uh, youngsters uh, teach and work with the youngsters, because the facilitators are youngsters between 18 to 30 years. And they, they work with the, with the students with the workshop, facilitating the activities and organizing, I mean, all of the cultural activities, et cetera. Next slide, please. I, I, I saw a question about if it, uh, if it's not similar to Twin Space, isn't it? I mean, I don't know, but I can see it and I can, I can see, but this twin space ideas and as I was thinking, right? Uh, maybe they work together in a in a project. The idea of this twin school is that maybe one school is work is developing a project about I don't know, for example, um, about uh, I don't know a garden in the school. But maybe there is another school who is working in the same project. The idea is that they talk together. And they make some exchange on the ideas on how they are developing the project. Uh, okay, this was the, the the program of the European Conference that has you see it was uh, last week uh, in May. Uh, the objective of the of the conference, first of all, to for the students to to have a moment of exchange, the moment of exchange of their local project. The second objective is to to have some meeting with the policy makers. In fact, during this conference, we had the opportunity to have a meeting with five euro deputies from the uh, parliament. And where the dele when the delegates they could make questions and ask uh, you know how how they work in at, the, at the European level how is the daily work at the Parliament etc. And then we have another meeting, but uh, it was in the Portuguese Parliament with national deputies, but they also had the opportunity to make questions to the deputies and it was very very interesting because uh, many countries the students ask questions regarding to the local problems and how the Portuguese parliament uh, solved this problem in Portugal. So it was very, very, very interesting. And uh, maybe then I can I can show you a video about uh, this activity. And the third uh, like objective also of this conference is one of the parts, I don't know if you can read it, that is written at the communication workshop, because at the end of the conference, it's expected that they um, create three, uh, four kinds of, um, of outputs. One of the outputs is are some materials uh, from a group, a youth press agency, that is a group of youngsters who work on the communication and dissemination of the conference during the event, and they are in charge of uh, organizing, making videos, photos, etc. 
The second output is a performance because um, through art you can also communicate and uh, make aware and commit people. The third one is a, a group of posters uh, with slogans and uh, when, and some sentences and that that the students uh, prepare during the conference. And the fourth, that is like the most important output of the conference, is a letter of commitment. It's a letter where the students write uh, what they do at the national level and what are their responsibilities and commitments regarding to the problems that they identified at the local level. The, the letter is already written and we are now like disseminating it. So if you uh, look on the Montpellier website, you can see the letter and the posters and all of the dissemination materials. So it could be also um, a good idea for you to, to know how, how it is. Uh, as I told you in the methodological principles, uh, the youngsters teach youngsters. So I told you that the facilitators were in charge of this, but also the workshop, the performance, the posters, the youth press agencies, it was facilitated and coordinated by young people, always people between um, 18 to 30 years. So this is very, very, very interesting. Um, next slide, please. Okay. And as you know, um, um, the idea of making this, this, this um, presentation was also because of uh, Elena Pierce, is a teacher who work with this project in, in school. So in the, um, in the European conference, two students from uh, Alvaro Velho School participate on the conference. Uh, the photo is the group of the delegation uh, from Portugal. And we had the, the Expressionist paper. Expressionist is a uh, quite important newspaper here in Portugal. And they make the conference and make an interview. And Agustin, now we are going to see the video. Maybe with the um, it's a short uh, presentation of uh, the two students from Portugal. Uh, they make a video to share the how it was uh, her, their participation. can hear. I cannot hear. I can hear. Maybe it's not possible. Maybe we can share the link on the chat. Of the environment okay. in the also what is going on in the other in the other country, in the other country. Um, I think I uh, really like to uh, you know, the idea of the other uh, country and what, what, they, what they were doing in their school and gave, they gave us a lot of ideas to put on our school, which was quite helpful. And I think um, one of the most important is that we get to know each other, get to know each other, and we're all time working as well. And I also participated in the conference. And I think I talked for both of us. First of all, we would like to thank, thank to Estea and to Montpellier uh, to let us be in this experience. Um, also, thank you, Laura, Laura, for helping us through the week and helping us through our project. Um, I think this week was really important for us because we learned a lot of ways to help the environment and also learned what is going on in the other way. 
Okay. I don't know. Sorry, I don't know what's happening with uh, okay, to show, so maybe, to show mm -hmm. the video. You, you have the link there and you can see it later on at home. Sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. But just uh, the, the, the girls playing a bit, they feel very grateful about the, the opportunity they had to, to participate in the conference. The main reason that they explained was because of the cultural exchange and also for having the opportunity to see that what, how the other students work at, at the national level. And uh, because they realized that uh, many things are happening, uh, the same problems, sorry, are happening on the same countries many times. And that they I mean, are working and they identify the same issues. So it was a uh, very, very interesting for them so then you can read the, the let me see, so you can see the video again and uh, see their, their opinion maybe you can next slide okay this was the project presented during the conference from uh, Alvaro Velho school um, by the few students uh, the the environmental work uh, developing in their schools was about renewable energies. Uh, it was mainly focused on, uh, on solar ovens and I mean, solar energy. Uh, I had the opportunity to participate on the um, on the pro uh, on, and to see how they work on the project. They had like these three main uh, activities. They create a handmade solar ovens. Uh, and I, uh, they cook with them, so it was very interesting. They also participate in this Erasmus Plus uh, project uh, with exchange between schools called Sustainability and Euro European Way with Germany and Italy. And they also participate in, a, they, are, they are already participating in a, a national content. They are making this um, construction with materials. They, can, they build um, a house. Uh, and they are participating in, in, in this context. In the next slide, you can see the photos on... Maybe you can change the slide and maybe... Ah, okay, perfect. And the slides on the, on the right... Uh, and the, sorry, on the, yes, on the right, it was the creation of these ovens, uh, handmade ovens. Uh, they also go to the Algarve, to the South of Portugal, and they work with a person who is, who is very important, who and has a lot of experience on, on the work with, um, with solar energy. And then there are some photos of uh, how do we work at schools and a photo of the, of the European Conference. In, and another important point is the determination of the of the work that they do, and this is something that the, the school Alvaro Bello do uh, pretty pretty well, because Elena is. You can change the slide, maybe. 
because Lena is always, uh, you know, preparing great newsletter with the with all of the information of the project. The uh, the blog of the uh, of the school is always updated with uh, the activities of the project. They participate as they are doing now on the evening events, and also they always uh, communicate with the local news about the the project. So this is this is uh, very 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 important, and. Also, then we will organize maybe an, an um, a dissemination <laughs> event to disseminate the, the output of the conference and that, because it's very important you know, to disseminate what we do. And uh, I don't know, Elena, next slide. Yes, yes. <laughs> and for Finnish speaking. Uh, hello, I am a teacher of natural science and I teach a club called Eco Friends of Nature for five years, where I develop various activities of environmental education. The topics covered are climate change, renewable energy, biodiversity, but above all awareness of good practice for environment. The awareness and the environmental education of our students is the order of the day so that they become future citizens proactive in environmental issues. Whenever possible, I try to get in touch with associations outside school linked to the environment, such as PIA, uh, to help us with this uh, awareness. Laura comes to our school sometimes to support us in this mission to prepare the youngs, uh, and it's also important in this context uh, to involve families. So, uh, for Finnish, uh, I advise uh, European colleagues to involve their students in projects and in contexts, uh, as will give them greater motivation. I share the blog in the, in the link and the, the chat uh, in chat and uh, this QR code uh, is for a quick entry uh, for those who want to know whether um, the environmental work developed in our school. Uh, education is the main weapon uh, and thank you. I am a valuable. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I finish. <laughs> just, just for finishing, um, well, if, if you want to, or you would like to know more about the network and how do we work, uh, just look um, in the Care Planet website. I mean, if you write in Google, let's take care of the planet, and then Mont Pluriel, um, you will see all of the information on, on how, how to join the, the conference. We have a logical guide, it's called Step by Step Guide, where there is like step by step all of the methodological, all of the kind of activities that you can organize at the school level with the students, how to develop the project um, at national level to be able to participate in the conference at the European level. Because the participation on, on the European conference it's free for the participants. We have some financing for for the participation. We, we just, of course, want the the, the countries and schools, you know, to follow the methodology of the of the of the project. So um, we don't know if, uh, where will be the next European conference we organize it because we would like to, to spread um, this this organization not just. In, uh, in Montreal or like this year in Asia, we would like that for another country organize the European conference. So I don't know, maybe we will see you in the next European conference. <laughs> Thank you very much, Laura and Elena. Uh, I'm very happy to, to hear you and, um, of course, to show uh, and, of course, to see all, all you have shown to us. And I I would like to ask you if you consider that we can um, uh, put this presentation in our mm -hmm. uh, in our sense embassy in the Portugal sense embassy. What do you think? 
Of yes, course. I think yes, maybe even because I can I can put this presentation and then the because maybe next week I will have some videos about um, the conference, so maybe then we can also add more information. I don't know, or or you can you are free in this uh, our group is uh, you are free to to upload and and uh, here give us information about all directions in, in Portugal. Um, even though if they are videos, links to videos or other information you consider important, just to give us ideas on how to improve environmental education in, in our schools. So this is, this is the Portugal Embassy, Sense Embassy. So uh, welcome. And here there are some of them, Italy, or Romania, uh, Greece, mm -hmm. for example. I, I missed Greece, but I'm sure Maria would like to to create the Greece Embassy, Sense Embassy here, just to show you the, the important uh, are these actions uh, in, in, in our countries, in, uh, where, where we live and, and where we are working. Okay, perfect. So yes, you can put the, the, the presentation there. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Um, well, tomorrow we have another webinar with Maria. Hello, Maria. Maria. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Oh. Tomorrow <laughs> it will be me, the one who uh, presents a project on uh, sustainable development goals. And I will be very happy to see you all there. Thank you, Maria. Tomorrow, Thanks. tomorrow at 6 p.m. again. Yes, yes, at 6 p.m. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot, Elena, Laura, Laura, Elena. Um, mm -hmm. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.